Good morning, YouTube. I'm going to show you one aspect of my collection I'm kind of proud of. I have at least one Topps card from every year from its inception from 1951 to present. I'm going to show you off one Topps card from each year from the base set and show you a little cool part of my collection. I did not tend to do it this way, it kind of worked out this way. A little bit of my uh, sub PCs kind of added every year in. So here's my starting from back from 2018 to, uh, to 1951. Ronald Cunha short print from series top series two, uh, bat down version, might be might not be my best pull of the year. Backs I'm not too fond of, too much I don't really care about the tops Twitter name and all that other stuff. I want more stats on it. But that's the 2018, 2017 Andrew Benatendi rookie card. I think he's a. Uh, Red Sox got the best outfield all around outfield in baseball. Congratulations on the World Series win. 2016, Jose Bautista. Pulled this one out of the pack. This was bat flip was big ballyhoo well, with the Rangers in the playoffs. So I thought we'll pull this back. That's be a cool card to have in my collection. Kind of a little piece of baseball memory. Not a big Bautista fan, but quite a cool photo, so I decided to keep with my collection. Last year they had that stats. Hope 2019 brings back more stats. I'm a stat guy. 2015 Chris Bryant rookie card. Two thousand fourteen Mariano Rivera. This is his last, my last year collection of them. Um retirees should be in the Hall of Fame next year. I'm not a fan of relievers, but he is the exception of Hall of Famers, I think, should be in there. Complete stats. If you noticed, um, he's card number 42, which is his, re his re number, which I thought the cool thing Tops did. They had Todd Helton, who retired that same year. His card number 17, his uniform also. It's kind of cool. 2013, Jose Fernandez, rookie card. Um, died too soon. Uh, he would have been a free agent this year, all offseason also. So it would have been a, the uh, Harper... Machado Fernandez free agent sweepstakes, but unfortunately we never got to see that into fruition. 2012 U Darvish. 2011 Mike Lowell. Always was a fan of him. Won World Series championships with the Marlins and the Red Sox. Always thought he was an underrated, solid third baseman. His last year card. 2010 John Smoltz his last year card uh, with the Cardinals people forget he was a Cardinal he was briefly with Red Sox too fun fact about John Smoltz he is from this area I actually for a little bit lived minutes away from his old high school so he's a local kid that made made good that uh, we're all proud of around here 2009 Frank Thomas his last year card with the Oakland A's the Big Hurt. 2008, Roger Clemens. The Yankees. His last year card. Not too big fan of the 2008 design. 2007 tops. Jason Bay. This is the no signature uh, variation. Pull out of a pack, so decided to keep it. Not a huge Bay fan, but. 2006 tops, Larry Walker. His last year card with the Cardinals. The annual uh, debate about if he's a Hall of Famer or not. Did Coors Field help him, hurt him? Does it matter? I think he would get in eventually. 2005 Hall of Famer Berto Alomar with the Devil Rays. His last year card. He uh, signed in um, spring training with the Devil Rays but never actually played for him. So it's kind of a card of him that the team he never played for. 2004 Tops. Yadier Molina rookie card. Probably the best catcher in this era right now for the last few things. He's basically watching catch. He's basically a pitching coach. 
works the pitches really well. Not a Cardinals fan, but I respect him. And he'll probably end up being a Hall of Famer. Best catcher of the era, I think, qualifies you as a Hall of Famer. 2003 tops, Jose Rijo. His last year card, always a fan of him. 1990 World Series MVP with the Reds. See all those uh, years he was injured. This is his last year. Uh, I think, I believe he actually played after he got some Hall of Fame votes. This is a rarity. 2002 tops, the one and only Tony Gwynn. If you're a baseball fan, you're a Tony Gwynn fan. Great personality, great person. Rest in peace, Mr. Padre. 2000, see his complete stats, which is if you look, start looking at it and study him, just plain amazing. 2001 tops, Ichiro rookie card, one of my favorites. Stats from his complete stats when he was in Japan. 2000. Wade Boggs is last year with the Tampa Bay Ray Devil Rays, back when they were the Devil Rays. He's got a 3,000 hit as a home run, the first person to do that. 1999, Roger Clemens. As a Blue Jay. 1998, Tops. Pete Rose Jr., Came across this set. This is a unique card to have. I'm not a huge fan of them, but you know, many people say they have a Pete Rose Jr. card. This is his only card, I believe, the MLB licensed card. He's got a bunch of minor league cards, as you see. He toiled many years in minor leagues, and he only had 14 at bats as a as a big leaguer. This is his career pro stats right there. 1997, Mike Greenwell, this last year card. Always a fan of him. Uh, There's a cool picture of him against the left field, Green Monster. Uh, he was the heir apparent to the the uh, Hall of Fame uh, triumphant of Red Sox left fielders. Uh, he never panned out to the superstar, but he had it was a solid career from 1940 to Greenwell retired. Red Sox left fielders consecutively was Ted Williams, Carl Zimski, Jim Rice, and Mike Greenwell. Pretty impressive. Always liked Mike Greenwell. 1996, Kirby Puckett, his last year card. 96, I think, is a pretty good design. Rest in peace, Kirby. 1995, Bo Jackson's last year. Still to this day, I think he's the greatest talent I've ever seen play baseball. I, I still say, uh, talent wise, he's not. Uh, Still more talent than Mike Trout, but Mike Trout obviously was a better ball player. He's still learning the game of baseball. I mean, he got hurt uh, when he was playing football. Bo Jacks, Bo Nose. 1994 tops, George Brett. I think this is my all-time favorite George Brett card. I think it's a classic photo. See his number five retired. See a great photo of uh, the Royal Stadium, one of the most underrated fields, uh, stadiums out there. Been around for years and still hold his beauty. Back has his career stats. I don't know if the Tops did this on purpose, but he had a nice picture of George Brett lather up his bat with pine tar. You know, the famous pine tar incident with George Brett. I think this is a cool all-around great photo of George, card of George Brett. My all-time favorite George Brett card, even though it's not worth anything close to his other cards. 1993, I have a Derek Jeter rookie card. He's from here in Michigan, went to high school in Kalamazoo, which is about an hour and a half away from here. Uh, this doesn't show the design of the 93 top, so here's my, uh, due to that, here's my Todd Helton top straighter rookie card. 1992 tops, King Griffey seniors last year with the Mariners. I think it's the coolest thing ever when Griffey, Griffey's went back-to-back -back home runs. It's kind of a, one of the cool things in baseball history. 1991 Chipper Jones rookie card. This is the beginning of the major junk wax era. Frank Thomas rookie, 1990. 89, Randy Johnson. I'm sure you've seen all these cards a billion times over. 
88, Bill Madlock, his, uh, his last year card with the Tigers. Uh, I think he's a very underrated player. Tigers picked him up mid-season 87, helped him propel to the division title. Four-time batting champion. He's a lot of appreciated. 87 tops. Barry Bonds rookie card. 86. Cecil Fielder rookie. Big Daddy. 50 homer guy. He was the first to do it uh, since George Foster in 77. Then all of those in the steroid guys, 50 homer guys came after him. Always liked him as a Tiger. 85. Hershiser rookie card. Up for the Veterans Committee. Always been a Hershiser fan, but I think he's going to come short with the Hall of Fame. 84 Magley rookie, Mr. Yankee. 83 Sandberg rookie, all time great sets. Modern era, great design. I love the 80s decades cards. I think that's made the best modern. Uh, uh, cards of the decade of design wise 82 J.R. Richards last card What it could have been Solid solid scared people scared pitching against him 300 strikeouts a couple times six foot eight Flamethrower better be careful watch stepping against him 82. Harold Baines 81 tops up for Hall of Fame Loved the Baines. Few White Sox players I actually rooted for growing up. Uh, I think he's going to fall short also. But he's the one. I think he's the player that's closest to the Hall of Fame status as a veteran's ballot. 1880, Ricky Henderson rookie card. This is the year I first started collecting cards. The most underappreciated Hall of Famers out there. All time, all time greats. Retired all time leader in walks. Stolen bases, runs scored. That's three major stats when you, you retire, you're the all-time leader in. I think that's a very, very impressive. 79, Alan Trammell. This is his first solo card. Trammell's everybody's favorite Tiger around here if you grew up in that era. 78, Tom Seaver rookie uh, as a red. Sorry for this glare. 77, Gary Carter. The Kid. I believe he was a uh, baseball card collector too back in the day. 76, Lyman Bostock Jr. If you don't know who he is, son of a Negro Leaguer. Passed away tragically way too soon. Uh, if you don't know him, I would advise reading up on him. One of the good guys in baseball back in the day. 75, Ron LaFleur rookie card. Fun fact about him, the Tigers discovered him and signed him right out of prison. Yep, prison. They made a movie about him in the mid-70s. LeVar Burton starred as Ron LaFleur. He was an all-star and a uh, solo base leader for the Tigers. 74, Dave Parker rookie card. The Cobra. Great talents of the 70s and 80s. 73, Willie Mays is a Met. Doesn't sound right, does it? 72, Roberto Clemente. Not the best shape. Uh, I need to improve my Clemente. This is my Roberto Clemente card. The one and only. 71 tops, Bob Gibson. Great, great photo, I believe. 71 is hard to find. It's, pretty, it's one's in pretty decent shape. Not a lot of corner wear on it. The Hall of Famer, Bob Gibson. 70 tops, Ernie Banks, Mr. Cub. It's one of the higher numbers, number 630. 
to get the 60s, we're getting uh, the bigger cards. So I got my 69 Tops, my 69 Mickey Mantle. This is not the white uh, letter variation. For the longest time, this is the one of my, still is one of my corner pieces, but not no longer the corner piece in my collection. 68, Hammer and Hank, Heron. Not one of my favorite cards, designs from the 60, uh, 60s. Not too fine of the, the borders, the color of the border, everything, but here's my Hank Aaron. 67, Fergie Jenkins. Sixty six, Sandy Koufax, the one and only. His run of he had in the sixties were just simply amazing. Sixty five, the other M M Roger Maris, him and Mantle, M and M boys, the sixty one. He had sixty one and sixty one. Maris did broke the record. The Bonds, McGuire, and Sosa all came along. Sixty-four Mickey Lolich rookie. Sixty-eight World Series MVP won three games, went head to head against Bob Gibson game seven to win it all for the Tigers. Uh underappreciated all time. I think he's right now still currently fourth all time leader in strikeouts by left handed pitchers behind Hall of Famer Steve Carlton, Randy Johnson, and a future Hall of Famer, I think, TC Sabathia. That's pretty good company there he's in. But nobody talks about Mickey Lolich's as an all-time great, probably because he played for some terrible uh, Met teams in the 70s, and Tiger teams were off and on, good and bad. But he had a very solid career. 63, Richie Ashburn, his last year, with the 62 Mets. Woeful 62 Mets. 62 tops, one and only Yogi Berra. Sixty-one times Billy Williams rookie card. Sixty times Duke Snyder, the Duke. Who's better, uh, Mickey, Willie, or the Duke? Debate back in the fifties in New York. Each fan base had their own favorite. 59 tops, Larry Doby, his last year card with the Tigers. Yes, he was briefly in his career with the Tigers. Working on my getting all the Tiger Hall of Fame cards. While they're playing days, is still work, work on progress, all I gotta say about that. There's another Tiger, Jim Bunning. Hall of Famer. Frank Robinson rookie card, 57. I think he's a, one of the greats of all time. If you notice, the team is the Cincinnati Red Legs back in the 50s in the height of McCarthyism. Cincinnati Reds changed their name to the Red Legs. So we were associated with uh, Russians and uh, McCarthyism and all that such. 56 tops, Phil Rizzuto, Scooter. I think the 50s overall has the best designs of any uh, decade out there. Just plain classic. Love the cartoons. The back, front, the two photos. Timeless. 55, I have a Camilo Pasquale rookie card. Cuban pitcher. Shout out to Cuban Collector. You might enjoy this one. I just picked this. I bought a lot of Rookie cards from the 50s and he, uh, baseball stars, and he was just included in it. So he's in it. So I decided to just go and keep in my collection. He was a all-star pitcher, strikeout leader with the Senators and Twins back in the day. I believe I read that he's the one that uh, scout the sign Jose Canseco to the uh, Oakland A's too. 54 tops, the one and only 
Jackie Robinson. Baseball hero, American hero. Can't say much more than that. Jack Roosevelt Robinson. Fifty three tops. Hal Newhauser. Prince Hal. MVP during the World War Tigers in the forties, mid during the World War Two era. Hall of Famer, number sixteen, retired at Tigers uh, for the Tigers. Fifty-two tops. Eddie Wakeus of the Philadelphia Phillies. If you don't know who Eddie Wakeus is, he's basically the, was the inspiration behind the movie The Natural. On the back of it, if you read it, it says. Shot by a crazed girl in June of 1949, Eddie was close to death and he toughest come comeback and helped the Phillies win the pennant in 1950. This is a kind of a cool card to have in my collection. And not least but not le last but not least, 51 tops, the red back version of Negro League star Luke Easter, big power hitting first baseman. Uh, from the Negro Leagues, played signed with the Indians, hit great huge uh, home runs. They used to call them Easter eggs, which is kind of funny. Fifty-one tops, red back. There you go. That's my tops run. Something I'm really proud of. I'm looking forward to adding to 2019 here in a few months. Thank you. Enjoy your Sunday.